Hi everyone, this is Elena. Today I'm test driving this very interesting, neat app called Loom. It allows us to create short videos to share with friends or family. And I thought I would combine business with pleasure and I use it today to create a very short video to share some of my productivity tools for uh, users of traditional SAP GUI application. So let's go. This is my SAP GUI screen. You might notice that it looks different than yours. This is because I'm using specific themes that might be different than, than what you have. Uh, to change theme in SAP GUI, we can use this, this button here. It's always last button on the toolbar, so it's easy to spot even if icon looks different for you. Underneath, we can see menu options. And after we click on this menu, we have different options to change visual appearance as well as different accessibility settings and many other features here. Uh, I'm using SAP Signature theme just because I prefer it. It's, uh, it's easier for my eyesight and uh, I'm just used to very uh, traditional look of the SAP buttons. But you don't have to limit yourself, so you can look, pick any theme from the list, whatever suits your personal preferences. Notice that um, changes are not going to be immediately applied, so even if I click OK button, nothing really changes here. It's because I need to completely restart SAP GUI application in order to for, for the theme settings to really be applied. So My next tip is how to easily generate method calls using pattern button in traditional ABAP editor. Um, I really like this pattern button. It has very many useful features. Uh, I like message generation. It's very easy to pick any class and then we can choose information messages or status and after that we can simply pick number from the drop down and message command will be generated. Um, but I want to point your attention to this ABAP objects patterns. After we click green check mark, we get some options to create objects or to simply execute a method of a global class. For example, CL demo output. There you go. This is a very popular class which uh, which allow us to output any values on screen very easily or quick and quickly. It has many static methods that, that can be easily called without creating instance first. I simply pick any, any of them for this example, let's say display, and after I, after I click this green check mark, call method is generated. But I really don't like here this very old-timey traditional call method command, which is no longer necessary. We can really do without it. It's, uh, it's uh, completely optional these days. So, Easy way to get around this is to use options from your settings. So in the menu utilities under settings, we can change some of the settings for pattern button. It's right here under pattern. And we have some checkboxes that uh, drive different functionality for, for this pattern button. And the last one that's called functional writing style for call method, it's the one that we can use in this example. So let's check it out. And uh, when I go to pattern again, I repeat the same, the same command, the same class. I'm just green check mark and it's through. And you see now the method generated without this call method unnecessary command. So that's it's very helpful to generate those method calls on the fly. And um, I hope that you found this this video useful and um, that you go check out Loom app, which I really enjoyed. Thank you so much.